Senator Veller, Councilman Vallone, Assemblyman Bronstein, you heard it. We would love your help in getting up here down here. The consensus from everyone we're talking to seems like that would be a wonderful solution. We're with one of the key figures in this whole movement and uh, this rally and this cleanup effort. The Joe, it is such a pleasure to meet you, and uh, and what I saw happen with what Kathleen's post on our Facebook page, and your immediate jump to the call, and then calling everyone, bringing everyone together in kind of a call to action to get everyone down here, and actually getting a date set, August 5th, for people to come down and, and clean up down here. I uh, thank you so much. I, I was so impressed and thank loved you. it, and loved it. And I love that we could use our, our Facebook Bayside group to do that sort of thing. So tell everyone about uh, yourself, and about what you saw, and and what you did, because I love it. All right, my name is Joe Oliveri. I'm the president, uh, currently the president of the Bayside Anglers. And uh, one of the reasons why I got involved is because, uh, well, one of the one of the events that we do as the Bayside Anglers is a cleanup in April. We do it every year. We do it over 20 years. And normally, uh, we sometimes attack uh, the jetty. And this year, we didn't do it because of the uh, extreme garbage that was in back of the bay. So we didn't hit this area this year. So when I <clears throat> visited the Bayside Queens site and I saw some women uh, ra uh, ranting about the, the garbage on the jetty, number one, I felt kind of guilty that it, it was <laughs> as bad as it got. And number two, I knew I had the resources to get this, you know, get this thing going because I do have a re uh, the Bayside Angles do have a rapport with uh, the Parks Department. So uh, basically, it was just a matter of making a phone call and uh, getting the ball rolling, and uh, here we are, uh, August fifth, uh, nine to twelve. T tell everybody who you call to to get to some support from the authorities, and then uh, and then I'll talk a little bit about about the response on Facebook. Okay, well, I called one of the parks uh, managers. Uh, uh, Shah Tariq, uh, he will be here that day. Uh, he was instrumental also in uh, helping out. Uh, he will be bringing down uh, garbage bags, uh, grabbers, and uh, gloves for the volunteers. And uh, basically that's all we need, and we do need a lot of people. We need a virtual army here to make a dent on this jetty in the allotted time that we have. The grabbers are going to be important because some of the stuff is down between the rocks where you're not even sticking your hand far enough down there to get it. So I love hearing that. But um, there's no receptacles here. I'm looking around. We just pointed out that half a football field away is the, the first garbage can you can see. So what do we, uh, did you speak to the sanitation? you think we can get sanitation to put more garbage cans here or do something else to help? Well, I'm sure if we can talk to Tariq, uh, uh, Shah Tariq about that. Um, by getting more receptacles in this area. Because yeah, we do have uh, an ice cream truck that comes here. Uh, I'm sure you know, he wants to make a buck just like anybody else, but unfortunately people do bring that stuff on the jetty and their mentality is uh, out of sight, out of mind. But you know, they shove it between the rocks. But uh, yeah, more receptacles would, uh, would help out. What would, what would your thoughts be about uh, how we could improve it? And what about the thought of a pier being built here for fishermen? That would be fantastic, because um, right now the only area besides this one here, which can be a little uh, dangerous for some people, and the accessibility is not for everyone, but uh, is Bayside Marina, which is only accessible by foot by uh, the 28th Street uh, pedestrian bridge. And it's really only a small area. So yeah, if they could uh, figure out something to uh, improve the fishing access here, well, that would be fantastic also. Senator Veller, Councilman Vallone, Assemblyman Bronstein, you heard it. We would love your help in getting up here down here. The consensus from everyone we're talking to seems like that would be a wonderful solution, especially since there's a sign right here that says no going out onto the jetty, no access, which clearly they don't even stop you, but, uh, and everyone is out there doing it. But I, we kind of think that's to, um, uh, to release them from any liabilities that might happen. Uh, but. Yeah, but, uh, but the thought of a pier, a nice, uh, right out there, going out into the water to serve the community would be a wonderful thing and we'd all appreciate it. Yes, and uh, Tony, I know you have a good rapport with the Bayside Anglers and uh, you, you would be instrumental in this, in this project. 
Joe, thank you very much. I, again, I'm, I'm so grateful and impressed with how you rallied everyone together and got them to, uh, to come down on August 5th for a personal cleanup, in addition to talking to the authorities to see what they can do. Really appreciate your help and love that you're working with us on the Facebook group. The gals really are the heroes here. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.